Jupiter is going to hide behind the moon in a rare celestial event this month. And the best part is that the occultation will be visible to the naked eye from some parts of the world. An occultation occurs when one celestial object passes in front of another as seen from Earth. Lunar occultations are only ever visible from a small fraction of the Earth's surface. Since the moon is much closer to the Earth than other celestial objects, its position in the sky differs depending on your precise location on Earth due to its large parallax. As seen from two points on opposite sides of the Earth, the moon's position varies by up to 20 or 4 times the full moon's diameter. So if the moon is aligned to pass in front of a particular object for an observer on one side of Earth, it will appear up to 2 degrees away from that object on the other side. The upcoming lunar occultation of Jupiter will take place on May 17, 2023. The space apps in the description will help you quickly locate Jupiter according to your place. The waning crescent moon will be 5% illuminated during the occultation. The event will be visible from North America, Greenland, Iceland, Northwest Russia, and Scandinavia. Jupiter recently passed behind the Sun and is emerging as an early morning object. It rises in the east and can be easily seen as a bright speck of light at dawn. AT Mag minus 1.9. Jupiter is the second brightest planet in the sky, only after Venus. But Venus is currently an early evening object visible in the west after sunset. Hence, Jupiter will be visible as the brightest speck of light in the eastern dawn sky. It will be 100% illuminated by the sun and will be 33 arc seconds across. The moon and Jupiter will rise around 4.30 a.m. local time in the constellation Pisces. The exact timing of the occultation will vary from place to place. For example, in Denver, Jupiter disappears at 5.32 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time and reappears at 6.27 a.m. And in Phoenix, Jupiter disappears at 4.21 a.m. Mountain Standard Time and reappears at 5.16 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. The occultation will happen during daylight in eastern time zones, morning twilight in central zones, and offers the darkest skies in western regions. Some locations will see Jupiter play peekaboo along the moon's edge. Start watching the occultation about 5 minutes before Jupiter disappears from your location. After that, you can watch it reappear behind the opposite edge of the moon. If your location is still dark, you can easily see Jupiter and the moon with the naked eye. However, they'll be challenging to see in the morning twilight or daylight without optical aid. But be very careful pointing binoculars or telescopes at the sky when the sun is above the horizon. Even a quick glance at the sun through any optical aid can cause permanent damage. For the rest of the world, the two objects will appear extremely close to each other. Subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any astronomical update.